Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna show you how to make these Mountain Dew gummy bears. Now this was a request video and they turned out amazing. So keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to make these. Now the first thing we need to do in a medium pot, we need to add two cups of Mountain Dew soda to it. Then just bring this over to the stove until it starts to boil. While we're waiting for our Mountain Dew to start boiling, get out a large pot, and to that we wanna add one more cup of Mountain Dew soda. And then I have three of these packets of unflavored gelatin. Just take it out and sprinkle it on top of your Mountain Dew. You don't have to mix it, just sprinkle it all in there. Now just let that do its magic while we're waiting on our other Mountain Dew to boil. All right, so when your Mountain Dew starts to boil, we just turn off the heat and take it over to our workstation. Now just pour your boiling Mountain Dew into your Mountain Dew that we poured the unflavored gelatin on and mix it in. You want to mix it for about five minutes until all that unflavored gelatin has dissolved. And at this stage, now that all our gelatin has dissolved, what I'm going to do is divide this. I'm going to keep some of them this color, this regular Mountain Dew yellow color, and some of them I'm going to turn green. So I just want to pour some in another bowl. Not a lot. And add a little green food coloring to it. Mix that up. Now just let these sit out for a little bit before we put them in our molds. Because I'm using plastic molds, I don't want the heat, the hot uh, liquid, to melt my plastic molds. So you have to be really careful. If you're using silicone molds, you can put them in there right away, that's fine. But plastic molds, be careful. Don't let them be too hot or they'll melt your molds. Now I'm gonna transfer my liquid into something with a pour spout just to make it easier for me to pour them into our molds so they don't go all over the place. So uh, the little one here, I'm gonna pour the green in. Big one, I'll pour the yellow in. All right, so now I have my mold here. And I just have this one template of little bears, and it's only six of them. So I have this little silicone, silicone mold. Uh, it looks like bananas or something, uh, just to use up the stuff. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill about half these bears with the green and then half with the yellow. Now hopefully I'll have just a steady hand when I'm doing the yellow. We'll see. And then just fill your other molds up, whichever way you'd like. Now just take these, put these in the refrigerator for a couple hours, just until they set. Well, my Mountain Dew gummy bears have been in the refrigerator setting up for about three hours. I'm a bit nervous because I don't know if I used enough gelatin. Um, they are firm, but not as firm as I want them to be. So we're gonna to try to get them out of here, see if we can get them out intact, and that's always a challenge, especially when you don't have a uh, silicone mold. So, let's try this. I'm gonna try with a knife gently to remove this. Oh no. <laughs> I decapitated the first one. That's not good. Poor bear. Tastes good anyway. Don't think it's gonna work out, my friends. Uh, we gotta do plan B. We gotta make them with more gelatin. So since it didn't work out on our last attempt, we're going to try things a little different this time. We're still going to start out with the saucepan and we're going to add two cups of Mountain Dew soda to that. Bring this over to the stove and bring it to a boil. 
While that's over on the stove boiling, we have one cup of Mountain Dew in a large bowl. At this time, I'm gonna use five of these packets of this Knox uh, unflavored gelatin. And I think that was part of the problem, not all the problem, but part of it. I wanna make it a little firmer than it was. It was almost just like a, a jello and not like a gummy. So we're gonna add five packets of this and you just sprinkle this in on top of your Mountain Dew. And this time what I'm doing differently is preparing our molds a little bit different. Um, last time they didn't come out too well. And of course, if you have silicone molds, use that because it's a lot easier. But what I'm gonna do this time <laughs> is I'm gonna spray this with some cooking spray, gently, just a little bit. And then, because I'm extra nervous about this, is I'm going to, let's wipe a little bit of the excess off. It's a, it's a bit much. Not dry, but just no puddles of spray. Now we wanna take some powdered sugar or icing sugar, and we just wanna lightly coat this. I'm just really going the extra step to make sure it doesn't stick in there. Now we can just fill our molds. I'm gonna do three of them green, three of them yellow, and hopefully they work out this time. All right, so I have pulled my gummy bears out of the refrigerator. They've been in there about three and a half hours, and now it's showtime to see if they come out of this mold all intact. I got my fingers crossed. I hope it happens. If not, we'll have to redo this with some silicone molds. So let's see how we did. I'll start with the yellow one. I'm just gonna kind of pull it away from the sides a little bit with my fingers before I try to pull it out. Hopefully that will work. And see if I can kind of like push it and peel it out. Uh, looks like it might work. Oh yes, I did it. So one of the yellow ones have come out nicely. Perfect. Well, now it's time for the taste test. I'm gonna try one of the yellow gummy bears, the yellow Mountain Dew gummy bears, and see how it tastes. Tastes like Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew gummy bear. It's pretty good. And this is the one I didn't put any food coloring in it. It was just straight Mountain Dew. So, really good. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these Mountain Dew gummy bears. It was a lot of fun making these. And thanks again for the person who suggested I make them. If you have a suggestion that you would like to see me make, write it in the comment section below and hopefully I'll get around to making it. Also, uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Hit that big red subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, you're gonna get a few videos a week. Every Saturday I do a Mountain Dew video. Every Sunday I do my regular video. Every Tuesday I do a live stream. And every Thursday night is a bonus video. So for right now, make sure you check out some of the videos I have off to the side. And I will see you guys next time.